What's happening folks? Back with another video reaction, and indeed this is a proper music video, and the reason I set it up with a bit of surprise in that regard is that it's a hardcore track. Now, to be fair, my favorite style of hardcore, people who follow those reactions and or my DJ mixes will know, is a style of hardcore known as early hardcore, or if it's actually from the 90s, it's often called Gabber. Which is further to say, there are other styles of hardcore, including starting around the early 2000s and in the next couple decades, it's become maybe the most famous style of hardcore, a type of hardcore called mainstream hardcore, sometimes Frenchcore, though that's a more like geographically narrow subset of it. But yeah, mainstream hardcore, it's a bit more accessible. It's less old school sounding, although to me, again, the old school and the early hardcore, indeed, as modern hardcore made in that style is called, it really has um, a timeless sort of sound to it. I think it still sounds the very best. Nevertheless, I do like different types of hardcore, including a fair amount of mainstream hardcore. And within that world, one of the most famous names is a guy called Angerfist, Danny Masseling, who is famous for always performing in a kind of horror movie style mask. And, you know, he has a lot of followers who also wear the mask when they go to concerts or rather parties where he plays. I've seen him play in, I think it was New Year's 2015. He came to a party here in California at a hotel in Long Beach and he played the final set of the night. It was like a two hour set. Um, and yeah, he puts on a really good show, so even if his style of hardcore isn't necessarily my absolute favorite, I do like a number of his tunes a great deal. And the thing with hardcore is there are videos of hardcore tracks, but they're typically just concert footage, and there is, or concert, uh, party footage, and there is footage from some events in this video, but it has more of an actual visual narrative than you typically get. So I remember when I saw this, it came out in November of 2022, so a little more than a year and a half ago. I was not only intrigued because it had a story that it tells in visuals and, you know, scenes as in like a proper film, but also because the evolution of the Sonics over the track, it almost tells a history of the evolution of hardcore into different substyles, meaning the very opening of this track is in the early hardcore style. And that's not typical for Anger Fist. There might be some other tunes out there where he does that in, but the early hardcore sound of the first maybe 30, 40 seconds of this one is the most early hardcore like classic gabber sound or like artcore sound i've ever heard him do and indeed it has a very notable acid component right out of the gate and the kick and bass line combo for the first 30 seconds is just vintage like classic early hardcore it then goes into a style for the next couple measures that i would associate more with like the early 2000s up to around 2010 and then for the next few measures after that, it goes into this kick drum bassline style that's much more modern, maybe within the last few years. Almost, I My brain sort of associates it with the sound of like a balloon or something like that. Maybe that won't make sense, but you'll hear it when we get to it. But yeah, so I like the way that the track itself seems to tell a bit of a mini story of the evolution of Hardcore Sonics. Now, the narrative part of the video dominates the first half of it, and then the last half, even if it shows flashes still of like the, the movie, if you will, it shows a lot more event footage. And as I often talk about over the years when it comes to hardcore, one of the things I love about the genre is despite it being a very fast and um, energetic genre that is in some ways associated with, you know, guys especially and, you know, the boys type of atmosphere, Always at hardcore parties, you see a lot of females too. It's a genre that has, a, I'd say, close to 50 50 ratio. Whereas, you know, acid techno, one of my favorite genres, if not the absolute favorite, it's perhaps a bit more guy heavy uh, than hardcore. So, yeah, I think the video does a good job of showing the diverse nature of people who go to hardcore shows and who are fond of the genre. So, with no further ado, let's watch the official video for Angerfist, uh, sorry, Angerfist and Damaltha Madness, who is an MC. He does like vocals on hardcore tracks going back a couple decades as well. So, here we go the video for Body Bag by Angerfist and Damaltha Madness. We're here! 
checked out in a body bag. So right there, you can hear the bass line and kick drum switch into a different idiom. And I do like, I like all the parts of this track, uh, including, again, this second scheme and then the third scheme as well. But that opening section with the acid and the early hardcore kick and bass line, it's just, it's magic. And I remember when I heard it, I was like, oh my god, like Anger Fist should really make more early hardcore. Like, what the hell? And again, that mask that you see him with outside, like that's the classic Anger Fist mask. And I don't know if I said it in the intro, maybe I did, but his real name is Danny Masling, and he's from the Netherlands. Anger Fist and I'm out to restore the balance. She said it couldn't be done. I accepted the challenge, stole tag like a rag. No need to brag, sip it down, rubber smell, checked out in a body bag. And this third sonic structure here, that this is more of that kind of balloon style kick, which you do hear in tracks from the last few years. I may not like it as much as either of the first two schemes in the track, but I don't dislike it either. It's again, I like different kinds of hardcore and I like especially a track that sort of explores different modes over the course of the duration. So <laughs> And that's the mouth of madness right here, it looking like he's maybe, as we'll see, an investigator officially with law enforcement, but perhaps an inside man on that hit, meaning he seems to distort the evidence that's being collected and he's maybe being paid off to do it or he's aware of who actually committed the crime, even though he's involved in the investigation. So again, there's a, they don't fully explain everything that's happening, but I just love that it's like a proper music video with you know some intrigue. Turn on the grave diggers. So raise your fist again. Huh. We're here. She said it couldn't be done I accepted the challenge Stole tag like a rag No need to brag Sip it down Rubber smell Checked out In a body bag I'm ready to ride Egg your fist on my side I'll finish the meat Bury the bones Fuck that I read a walk Come on to the soul Again, uh, shout out to all these people at the shows. You can you can tell he puts on a really good show. You know whether you're super into mainstream hardcore or not. But I do love the way because he often has like one or two people on stage with him, also in the Anger Fist mask. And I don't know if that was Danny or one of the like the hype men that are on stage. But I love the way there's that moment where the percussion does a little roll ending in one of those balloon hits, and they do it with one of the guys in the mask, maybe Anger Fist himself finishing it with a headbutt that comes when that balloon kick happens. And 
I think it was farther back. I apologize. I apologize, it's after the break, isn't it? Yeah. That opening section with the early hardcore bit is my favorite part, but this break right here is fantastic too. And I, again, just shout out to all these people who, you know, they, some people have very serious faces. Some people are, you know, smiling. Some people are just rocking out. But again, you can tell they put on a killer show. I like the, like right after the break, there's a, this woman right here, she's like throwing double fists at the camera. I like that. Dope. Yeah, it's cool. And like I said, I particularly enjoy that it's a proper music video as opposed to most hardcore clips that you see, which are just footage from events, which there's nothing wrong with that. But this one, they really did, you know, shoot some footage and uh, uh, write out a narrative. So yeah, really cool. Let me know what you think and I will see you next time. Peace.